Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Rare. We're continuing Spirit Cocktails Horror Fest with the Mothman's Prophecy. And this prophecy foretells this is going to be a pretty damn good drink. It has delicious absinthe. It's going to be good. But if you know what the Mothman is, he's the omen to destruction. To anything that has to do with like like catastrophic events throughout history, he's been studied at some point or another. This is going to have a bit of a destruction because you have the aftershock, lucid absinthe, foreseeing of the destruction. And a dark rum, just because. And he's a creature, so well, I guess Kraken kind of fits in that place. A little bit of flavor, so. It's going to be good, but let's show you exactly how this cocktail is made. And I foretell this is going to be good. Yeah, let's put spice in the glass, too. Usually helps. First thing you want to do is take your lucid absinthe. You're only taking about half ounce. You need more for more for a little bit of the flavor, a little bit of the effect. Not to be too potent. Then you want to take half ounce of your dark spice rum. Kraken is a, definitely a good one if you ever had it. And we'll take a half ounce of your aftershock. I haven't used this in a while. I know it has a nice cool effect, but I'm still curious what the hell those crystals. If you anybody knows, comment below. I'm curious, just give me an idea. But next thing you want to do to that is you want to add some orange juice, about two ounces. Yeah. And shake it up. That's orange color to it. It's pretty cool. Top that with some lemon lime soda. There you have it. The Mothman's Prophecy. I told you this is going to be a good one. It's going to have a lot of different flavor notes. It's going to have some spice, some coolness, because Aftershock, it's a mint, it's a cinnamon. It's kind of both factors. Loose absinthe, absinthe, you got a lot of the licorice notes to it. Let's see how this tastes. You could definitely taste the licorice. It's a pretty strong licorice flavor to it. It's nice and a cool factor going on that because it's, it's cooling on the palate. We got a little bit of a cinnamon taste to it, but not a very strong, potent one. Then this just adds a lot more flavor notes to it. A little bit of a caramel flavor. But it's actually really good. If you don't mind, if you don't mind licorice, it's a good drink. Definitely has some good citrus notes, but it's very sweet. That's one thing I noticed about Lucid Absinthe. It's a very sweet flavored spirit. I had other absinths in the past, and they're really kind of plain. It's just basically alcohol with a little bit of coloring to it. This has a nice sweet flavor to it, which is good if you want to lose it, because that gives it a nice milky color, because all the different sugars in there kind of blends and breaks apart and mixes with the alcohol. Give you a nice cocktail from that. Which also helps in this because you're adding a lucent, your your loose absinthe you're putting in there, you're shaking up, you're also loosening it in the same time. Getting that same cloudy effect to it, which is cool. But this is a good cocktail. It's very flavorful, has a lot of licorice and cinnamon notes to it, but it leaves a nice cooling flavor over the palate. But I definitely suggest you try this out and check out the previous horror fest cocktails. I got a few more coming up. One at the end could be very, very potent. It has Everclear. You put Everclear in a cocktail, it's going to burn. And it's going to be potent and make it a little drunk. But I hope you enjoyed this. 
then definitely like us on Facebook Concept like Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. Be sure to comment. As always, drink responsibly.